As we stepped through the gates of Myrtle's plantation, a shiver ran down my spine. The air was alive with whispers of the past, and I could feel the weight of centuries of secrets and stories bearing down upon me. The scent of magnolias and cypress wafted on the breeze, carrying the whispers of those who had called this enchanted place home for generations. We wandered down winding paths, our footsteps echoing off ancient antebellum architecture. The rustle of leaves beneath our feet served as a reminder that we were not alone. The Myrtles had been a nexus of history and mystery, where countless stories of love, loss, and tragedy dwell. Our guide, a kind-eyed historian with a passion for the plantation's lore, led us deeper into its secrets. We discovered hidden rooms, tucked away behind secret doors, each one shrouded in an aura of reverence. In one, we found ancient artifacts that seemed to whisper tales of a long-forgotten world. Our guide told us of the plant's dark magic said to reside within these walls, a power so great it had drawn seekers from far and wide. As night fell, we gathered around a campfire, listening in rapt attention as our guide spun a tale of mystery and intrigue. The Myrtle's reputation as a hub of supernatural activity had long been a subject of fascination and fear among the locals. Some claim to have experienced inexplicable occurrences, doors creaking open on their own, disembodied whispers in the dead of night. Others spoke of visions and omens, warnings from beyond the grave that seemed to speak directly to their souls. It was as if the Myrtles had become a living embodiment of the collective unconscious, a vessel for humanity's darkest fear. Our guide led us deeper into the woods, where the moonlight filtering through the canopy above cast an ethereal glow. In this sacred space, we discovered an ancient tree, its gnarled branches twisted with age. The air around it pulsed with a strange energy, as if the plant had coalesced into a tangible force. Our guide whispered of nights when the moon hung low in the sky, and the wind carried the scent of decay times, when you could feel the myrtle's power coursing through your veins, like a river of darkness. As we stood beneath the ancient tree, I felt an eerie presence surrounding me. The air seemed to vibrate with an otherworldly energy, as if the very fabric of reality was bending and warping according to the whims of this malevolent force. Our guide leaned in, her eyes glinting with a knowing intensity. Welcome to the heart of Martel's dark magic, she whispered. Here, secrets wait to be uncovered secrets that have lain hidden for centuries beneath the surface of history. As we stood there, bathed in the silver light of the moon, I knew our journey was only just beginning. With a sense of excitement and trepidation, we stepped forward, ready to unravel the tangled threads of Myrtle's dark mysteries. The air seemed to grow thick with anticipation as we began our descent into the unknown, the whispers of the past echoing through the night, 